FBI agents late today began searching the Colorado apartment of this man, Najibullah Zazi. Zazi is at the center of what law enforcement sources say may be one of the most important U.S. terrorism investigations since 9-11. The Afghan national denies he's a terrorist. Of course not. I have nothing to do with Al-Qaeda and any link or anything with Al-Qaeda. Zazi, who once had a hot dog cart in New York, now drives an airport shuttle van in Denver. But U.S. officials speaking on condition of anonymity say Zazi also recently traveled to Pakistan, made contact with known Al-Qaeda operatives, and sought information about building homemade hydrogen peroxide bombs. That background, coupled with Zazi's visit to Afghan friends in New York over the 9-11 weekend, was enough to trigger Monday's raids in Queens. A senior law enforcement official says New York police and the FBI, lacking hard intelligence and fearing a possible attack, were forced to move early as a security precaution. Now those disruptive raids have badly compromised FBI surveillance in the case. While no explosives were found, agents did confiscate five to ten backpacks and some cell phones. Those are common household items, but also frequent components in homemade terrorist bombs. In fact, ten backpack bombs planted on trains in 2004 killed 191 people in Spain. Sources say literature on bomb making was found in Zazi's possession. No problem, okay. how good night. You know? But it's still not clear what, if anything, the Queen's group was planning. Sources say Zazi and his attorney have reached out now to the FBI and he has agreed to talk with agents voluntarily. But we have to say he has not yet been charged. Katie? Bob or Bob, thanks very much.